Now we're going to continue with our discussion. Um, we just talked about the different um, types of, or the different themes in painting, right? So today, or on this part, we are going to talk about um, that uh, we ended with landscape, right? As a theme in painting. Now we're going to continue by knowing the different artists, Filipino artists, who are landscape artists and who had also great artworks in their own account. Okay? So now we're going to continue here. So some of the most renowned landscape artists in the Philippines was first, is first Martino Abeliana. Um, he is known as the Dean of, I'm just going to transfer my myself, ha? Huh? Because it it's here. There. Um, Martino Abeliana is the Dean of Cebuano Painters. So when we talk about, so when we refer someone to be the Dean, Kumbaga, balado siya ang head, balaklas, right? So, si Martino Abeliana was the dean, was known to be the dean of Cebuano painters. So, kumbaga daw siya ang pinaka-head. Then, um, he is also known to be the Amor Solo of the South, right? So, because Amor Solo was um, a painter known to be located somewhere in Luzon, okay? So, si uh, Martino Abeliana naman na class was known to be the dean of or the Amor Solo of the South. Next, mentor for generations of Visayan artists. Okay? So, si Martino Abeliano was known also to be the mentor or to be the teacher of um, some Visayan artists who were also known um, for their own field or for their own um, um, artworks as well. Next, follows the academic style of painting. So, when we talk about academic style of painting, as what we have said earlier, it, it refers to a kind of a style in painting wherein you really paint what you can see, all right? Um, there's no distortion of reality, okay? There's no um, addition of any other creative ideas you would like to put in um, your uh, to put in the concept of your painting. So, hindi na siya allowed. Um, when we talk about academic style of painting, uh, it refers to the concept, wala class, um, parang siyang kinambal ko, nga, wa, ang artist, kung nakakita siya, for example, sa isa ka scenery, example, let's say, for example, ang, ang landscape. If what is the, the physical appearance of the landscape nga nakita niya, or the scene nga nakita niya, then automatically, he paints it the way he sees it. Okay? He sees it, um, he paints it uh, the closest way possible sa kung anong nakita niya. So, that is academic style of painting. Uh, however, if you incorporate mga abstract style in painting, so, dira na the paint class, ga distort ka na, ga, ga put in ka na sa creative ideas mo si imo mga painting. Like, for example, um, ang dagat, okay? Dagat lang gina class. Um, if it's in academic style of painting, uh, you paint dagat gidya. Ang isura niya is dagat gidya. However, if you incorporate mga abstract style in your in your painting of the sea or sang dagat, pwede kaya class ka ubra sang mga dagat ya, sang imo ya, kuluran mo lang color blue, then butang mo box, 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 box and everything. Okay? So, damo damo sabi nga cube and uh, kuluran mo lang blue to signify that it's the dagat. So, amo na class ang ginambal ta nga do abstract, the difference ang abstract and the academic style of painting. Next, Manuel Baldimore. Si Manuel Baldimore is the master innovator in the art world. Okay, so that's the title given to him. Follows the modernist style of landscape painting. So magamit ang modernist style of of painting class. Um, pareho na sa dong may abstract na sa black class, right? Dong may abstract na siya nga nga taste of it. Dong hindi na siya entirely academic. So do gina incorporate mo na ang 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 mga creativity nga gusto mo ihambal or gusto mo ipakita. Next, created a painting that depicts his hometown, Paeti, Laguna, by using simple geometric shapes and forms. Alright? So, if we are going to search Manuel Baltimore over the internet, we'll see some um, painting niya who looks like this, which looks like this, okay? Okay? This one is an example.
And as what you can see there, right there, okay, so ipakita ko lang siya. Um, if uh, you can notice, class, in this year, class, entirely nga, nga, kapakita, in siya, class, ang, kung ano ang scenery, right? Sa isa kabi, kung makita mo, yada, ang, ang, ang puno, ang balay, like, for example, ang um, balay, git siya nga, do balay, git, then, ang mga, uh, wala siya, class, ang do mga geometric shape. Ano, ano magamba kita sa mga geometric, okay? So, it, it talks about shapes, class, right? So, kung magtahamba kita geometry, um, so, ang baldere kay Martino Abilia, uh, kay Manuel Baldimorgale, ang iya ko nung kind of painting na ginaubra niya, usually, is kapakita siya class ang mga ginadepik yung isa ka bagay or ang isa ka gusto yaman nga concept, then ginagamitan niya sa mga shape, mga box, circle, and everything. Like this one, alright? Again, ari man siya. Doon yung pagkaano mo sa academic style of painting, however, though it is more about um, shape. Like this one is for example, right? So may mga triangle dira, uh, may mga ano ba dira as you can see, right? Next. So that's Manuel Baltimore. Okay, may modern na siya gani, may modern um, taste na in his painting. Next is Prudencio Lamarosa. Known for his surreal landscape painting. Maka makita surreal ba na class? Though, um, it's like, because it is too, um, it's closest to reality. Ina ba na class ang though, um, close nagit katama si reality. That's what, it, that's why it's called surreal landscape painting. Okay? So, kung anong niya nga makita, for example, we search the word surreal. Okay? Just to let you see lang. Just to give you the meaning of it, kung hindi nyo kumaintindihan, surreal in painting. Surrealism in paint, um, painting. Definition, for example. Right? So, when we read about the definition of it, we will have this kind of idea. Surrealism movement in visual art and literature flourishing in Europe between World Wars I. Okay, so here. Yeah, let's, let's just um, find another meaning. Dumas maintindihan siya. This one is an example. It is a style of art in literature. So this is not only applicable in art, but also in literature. Developed principally in the 20th century, stressing the subconscious or non-rational significance of imagery arrived at by automatism or the exploitation of chance effects, unexpected juxtapositions. All right? So when we talk about... Um, Surrealism, because of its um, mga symbolism, metaphorical, yung klase nga klase sa mga painting or klase sa mga concept niya, okay? Uh, makita mo na gida, for example, like on this one, okay, Prince, um, because it is inspired by the Amburayan River, okay? So, may mga shapes da, may mga rocks and everything, then may mga ano, kapakita. Though it's um, surrealism in a way, that uh, ginapakita yung iba na class kung ano gitang tutukod ng atsura with incorporation ng symbols especially uh, it it gives a positive meaning okay do, uh, kumbaga do positive iya nga uh, mag ano kita sang sur surreal painting or surrealism in art it depicts a uh, positivity okay um, usually do ginaiwasan gitang negativity as a concept right next is uh, Paiti La pa Ete Laguna as presented by Manuel Baldimore Alright, so now we're, we will go to another type of painting that I know you would, uh, or theme in painting that you would uh, really like to know. This is what they call nudes, right? So, balang kung ibang sa inyo, balang nyo nagigang nudes, right? Ang ibang sa inyo, send nudes, char. So, kabay pa hindi na pag-imuan, kasi because um, it would just cause a lot of problems if it will leak over the internet, okay? Basi leak sang niga mo. Char. Next, Filipinos are known to be conservative in nature. Do you agree with it? Do you, do you think, is it still applicable even until today? Nga conservative gapon kita? Of course, may aragyapon sa nature na conservative kita. However, 
because as time goes by, as we try to engage ourselves in technological ways that we have, like today, uh, doon naging ano na lang siya, doon medyo naging unconservative ng Pilipinos, doon medyo naging liberated na in a way, na very um, malaya na gid. Uh, may freedom na gid sila to express themselves or kita to express ourselves. Right? Nudes as a subject for paintings in the, in the Philippines was not fully embraced excuse me, by the Filipinos before the 20th century, but has since been considered as a famous subject in painting. So because of our nature that we are not um, uh, that we are not that liberated and um, very conservative kita in a way, uh, this type of painting or the theme, this theme in painting was not clearly accommodated by the culture okay, or by the artists in the Philippines before 20th century. However, um, in the entrance uh, of the 21st century uh, or the, even the 20th century onwards, doon naging famous, naging siya nga subject in painting. Some of the Filipino artists who used nudes as a theme for their paintings are Fernando Amorsolo, Ben Cabrera, Cesar Legaspi, Romulo Olazo, Vicente Manansala. Now, we're going to define um, nudes in painting. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, try to search. So when we talk about nudes in painting, it basically just refers to your body, black glass, or to a subject's body entirely um, being um, do ano niya, though explicitly nga ginapakita din siya class, okay? Ang body sang tao, okay? Kita nyo ang the creation nga painting is an example of a nude painting. Ato may God sa bala, uh, uh, si God, and then ga ano siya sa iyong creator. Like for this one, and for for example, right? So, do ginapakita, gina class explicitly kung ano man class ang, ang lawas. Because they say, kuno, that nude paintings was very, a uh, nude painting was very popular in in Greece before. I don't know if it, if it really originated sa Greece, pero I think most of the arts that we enjoy today um, could be referred dito sa ila, could be referred back or, or could be traced um, their origin back sa ilang, uh, ano, sa ilang uh, culture. So, for example, mga amaliki, because they enjoy, they celebrate kuno, um, the body of of um, humans. Yeah, for this one, is for example, gusto nyo man class maano, ma-nude painting ka mo. As of base la ina inyo yung i-paint pala ko sa school ba si oh ang color baan okay So some of it yung mga ano na siya mga modern na siya all right So amo na class ang some of the examples of nude paintings Now let us go to genre Ah uh, wait lang I'm just gonna check if lawig pa ang discussion It's very lawig pa git Right? Sa painting pa lang kita. Now, another type of um, theme in painting is it, it usually deals with genre. So, what is genre in painting? Genre refers to paintings whose themes depict the daily lives of people doing chores or recreational activities. Okay? So, it depicts ang um, um, theme in painting a genre. It, it shows ang um, daily lives of people, right? Ko ano ilang uh, ginaubra, ano ilang movements, ilang actions, ilang lives, ilang livelihood in everyday living. Okay? For example of it is the Boxer Codex. It is a manuscript consisting of paintings depicting the everyday lives of the Asians. So right there, um, a pair of gold embellished Visayan noble couple. For example, um, we'll try to search over the internet kung ano pa gid ang try ang iba nga example sa genre. Yung painting.
right, right here. Okay? So, as what you can see, doon ka pakita, doon siya class, sa, uh, right there. Okay? So, do kabuhi, it's ang tao, right? Ang ilagay niya everyday lives. This one, okay? So, this is genre. As a theme in painting, right? Right? So, next. Like that. Okay? So, I hope you learned something about painting. Um... Now, we're going to move on to the sculptures, all right? Okay, so we're done with knowing the different um, painting themes that we need to know. So now we're going to move on to another visual arts, to another type of visual arts, which is uh, sculpture, all right? So we're going to start sculpture are three-dimensional works of art. So what do we mean by three-dimensional works of art? Or this is 3D, okay, right? You've heard of 3D already. Uh, maglanto, especially sa mga movies, yun ang nakita. This is a 3D in which you are you you are given um, a special glasses, okay, for you to wear para ma-appreciate ng maayogid ang, ang movie. And what do you mean by 3D? Because um, this is three-dimensional. Makita mo siya kung ano in, with your, ang isa bala ka bagay, in its width, in its length, and in its depth. So sa tatlo ka side nyo, eh, makita mo gid ang, ang iyang, uh, uh, ang pers perception mo, perspective mo, okay, ay tatlo ka bilog. Okay? Ang makita mo sa sense of sight mo. That's why ang sculpture, di ba makita mo siya in all its side? Next! Sculptural processes, carving, sculptural um, examples ng mga, mga sculptures are carving, casting, and welding. Let's go first uh, and discuss carving. Sculptural process that utilizes tools to create a form by scraping or carrying away from a solid medium such as wood, bone, or stone. Right? So, makita mo na ang mga ang ga-carve na malakas. Okay? As what you can see, maglabay ka mo before sa may dira sa may uh, what you call this sa may bridge da bala okay kung hindi maglibot sa Bonifacio ang ang jeep may la, malabay ka da gumay ka carve na da sa mga sa mga figurine right sa mga human form and uh, mga angels and everything so damo na makita so that is carving you are trying to um, eliminate some part of it for you to create a certain form Okay, for example, isa sa kadako being a wood, then i-carve mo siya, ibanan mo siya, okay, para ma-shape siya into your desired na form. Next, casting. What is casting? It includes creating a mold and then pouring a liquid material such as molten plastic, metal, fiberglass, or rubber into the mold to come up with the desired shape. So, there is a mold. Okay? Ong doong imo, bala nga ginamoldahan, bala nga uh, para mag mag desired ma create kasi ang desired na shape and then you try to pour bubuan mo na siya sa any material nga liquid okay para mag kung iano mo siya kung kwaon mo na siya or kung buksan mo nang ang din mold mo makita mo nang imo nga inubrahan all right so example of it ang mga souvenirs na dinapang ubra mga figurine all right and even ganit mag ano ka um, for example, magubra ka sa mga jewelry. Okay? So, ang mana. Next, invention process. Next is welding. It's in an invention process that causes materials such as metals, thermoplastics, and others to fuse in order to create a new object. Okay? So, diriya class magali masulod ang welding. Ah, ang jewelry. Okay? On how you are able to create jewelry and everything. Next, Pre-colonial sculptural artworks, example na sundok, it's a grave markers of the Bajau. So, kinabutan na nila sa ilang mga pansyon. Next, Bulol, kabila na naman batian si Bulol, is an Ifugao rice god. And, panolongs of the Tarogan, Torogan, the Maranao Royal House. Magamba kita sa ila sa mga, mga car, uh, carving dere, ari na siya klas makita pa so. Ara siya. Ang kita nyo ng Dugalabaw. That's what we call panolongs. Okay? And then this whole house is what they call Torogan or the Royal House. Right? Next. Sa so, dito pag yung makita ang mga ang mga tawag de 
ang mga carving or sculpture in Santos, right? It refers to sculptural works representing Christ and the Christian saints. It became very prominent in the Philippines during the Spanish colonization era. They actually brought it here, ang mga Santos ni Ine, okay? Um, the Spaniards or the Spanish colonization was able to bring this culture or this tradition of making Santos. Okay, so that's why we have Our Lady of Benafrancia, Inaga, Black Nazarene, in Quiapo, Santo Nino, in Cebu. Okay? Um, and any other thing pa, nga, and any other Santos pa, nga Balan Nino. Okay? Next, there are two styles of contemporary sculptures in the Philippines. Right? So, first one is academic and classical paint style. It influenced. It is influenced by the aesthetics of the ancient Greece and Romans, which is very particular or the realistic portrayal of the figure. Do pa yun lang sa klasang academic style or classical style sa sa painting, balakas ka academic style man, in which ko ano kina ni chula sa bagay amun ang gina sculpture man, okay? Ang gina carve, ang gina ubran nila na sculpture, okay? So ko ano kina ni chula, for example, chula mo ba? I ano sa i carve sa So, tsura mo, ganyan klasa makita. So, wala sang any other style pag it. Okay? Next is modern style. It embraces abstract representation of an object or figure. Okay? So, dayak na sa modern style is this kind of a sculpture na may incorporation na yung of modern style. Alright? So, yun daw hindi na siya, pwede siya pariyo, ito bala sa ginamata, ganyan sa painting, yun siya pariyo na yung kung ano tsura mo, amo gina. Okay? Do, ano lang siya. Do may gina, do may something sa nga revision na ginubra to put to put in your own creativity. Example na kay academic uh, sculpture. For example, we're gonna uh, we're gonna search it over the internet. So this is how it looks like. Okay. So mga amo na class, mga academic uh, inspired by Greece. Alright, so kung anong tsura, ang mga gina, kung anong figure and everything. How about ang modern sculpture? Okay, so we try to search the modern sculpture. So this one, okay, so kung no, may something na siya, nga daw gina-incorporate na ang modernity, okay? So, ang muna for example, like this one, like this one, alright? So, this one, this one, alright? So, kung ano siya, Um, tsura niya, okay, do may something lang ginaubra. Uh, for example, with the abstract one, alright, so amo na siya, okay, do usually makita mo siya as a design lang din, alright? Okay, now let's move on to the some of the most renowned sculptural artists in the Philippines. So first is Guillermo Tolentino, okay, so who's Guillermo Tolentino? He created sculptural artworks that depict people of society and politics. Mga sculpture nga gapakita sa mga tao in society and politics, especially mga dagko ng mga tao. Now, let's see, or ang mga sikat, malakas mga tao. Let's see, um, uh, Guillermo. Guillermo Tolentino. Okay, so this is uh, Guillermo Tolentino class. Just to let you see him. So, I'm gonna shot. Alright? So, I shams. Sorry. Just wait for a while. Okay, so this is Guillermo Tolentino. Okay? He is a national artist for sculpture. Here. Okay? Later on, we'll know, we will know what is um, National Artist Award. He is a professor. He was a professor at UP Diliman who created the famous oblation of the university. So, ang oblation was created by Guillermo Tolentino. Kita yun na, class, ang gauba. Okay? Ang it means, kuno, class, ang oblation na, it can symbolize, kuno, it will symbolize, kuno, the freedom, bala? Okay? The freedom of expression that we are, that people need to have. Alright? Next, Mentored, hindi lang ng amuna meaning sa sa ano ha, sa uh, oblation. You can actually search over the internet what are some of the other meanings pag it or uh, message behind this oblation. There are a lot of things about it. Next, he he was a he mentored some of the country's famous sculptures such as Napoleon Abueva, right? So siya ginang nag-mentor dira, Froilan Madrinan and Anastasio 
Saido. So, some of the famous masterpieces of Tolentino, Oblation and Yupi Diliman, Bonifacio Monument. So, si Anastasio uh, Kaido is a native of Batangas who is known for his cultural masterpiece, um, the memorial at the MacArthur Landing Site. So, siya si Niklas, as what you can see, um, siya si niyang nagubra. Si Anastasio Kaido, maging mentor ni Guillermo Tolentino. So, tandaan niyo na. Next, si Napoleon Abueva naman class is a native of Tagbilaran, Bohol. Pari siya. Regarded as the father of modern sculpture, of the Philippines or of the country, right? He used various mediums in sculpting such as concrete, wood, and metal but still prefers to create sculptural pieces out of wood, preferably Nara and Mulave. So, class, si Napoleon Abueva is the father of modern sculpture. Magamit kita modern sculpture. Itong ba rin sa ginambal ko? Yung um, gagadipig sa sang modernity na. Doon hindi siya academic style. Then, Example, sina sa mga pang ubraya is this one, the allegorical harpoon. Magamit kita the allegorical harpoon. Do, ano yung sakas? Magamit kita allegory. Though there is um, another meaning to it. Right? Uh, so, this is this stands as a symbolism. Ang harpoon, class, is used to catch fish. Right? So, muna, class, ang, ano niya. So, this is a sculpture that really has something, though, pwede mo siya magamit, but it has a story behind it. Right? One of the Abueva's best abstract sculptural work, Amugining Allegorical Harpoon. Next, si Julie Luch is a native of Iligan, Lanao del Norte, one of the leading proponents of terracotta sculpting in the Philippines. Magamakita terracotta sculpting in the Philippines class, do gagamit this sa sanduta or any materials class nga makita mo from your um, environment. Okay? From Earth's environment. Example na, okay. Isa is that terracotta. Terracotta sculpture. Right? So, amun na siya. Kasi ginagamitan niya. Gin siyang soil or gluta. Terracotta is the term normally used for sculpture made in earthenware and also for various practical uses including vessels, water and waste, water pipes, roofing tiles, bricks and surface, embellishment and building. So, so tandaan nyo lang kasi ang ginaubra is earthenware. Okay? So, of course, duta or soil. Next, sculpted women's portrait out of terracotta clay. So, this one is an example. Ginaubra ni Julie Luch. Terracotta sculptural portrait by Julie Luch. Her sculpture was applauded due to her creative depiction of women. Okay? So, feminist siya. Next, Si Jerry Navarro Elizalde is a native of Antique Iloilo. So, mga taga-antique da, I hope na kilala niyo si Jerry Elizalde. A visual artist who practices painting and sculpting. Known for his sculptural works with, which use woodcuts and other recycled materials to showcase various indigenous tribal artists. Remember, okay, the contemporary sculptural artists mentioned or featured here is but a drop in the ocean full of talented and creative sculptures that Philippines has to offer. Every day, new artists are born and discovered. So, maalay nyo ka muna ang sunod ng mga um, greatest artists in the Philippines. Pero class, ang mga nakaginapang present, kumala class ng mga, ng mga artists, they are just um, kumbaga, a drop in the oceans of talented and great artists in the Philippines. So, do ano pa lang sila, do, do gamay, pa lang sila, do kamalinking, pa lang sila class, pero damo, pagid. Alright? Now, let's go to a visual art. However, it is not already fine arts as we have defined it. Um, it's a uh, ano visual art siya. That was under siya sa fine arts. Ito mas sculpture, painting, yung discuss na bago lang. Now, we, we are going to go to decorative arts naman and crafts. Okay? Of course, decorative arts and crafts can still be um, appreciated by the eyes. Okay? Aside from its usefulness or ut uh, uh, utility, na pwede mo siya magamit sa nga may purpose, good siya na hindi mo lang sa i-appreciate sa beauty niya, but it has a purpose. Okay? So, amunin sa class ang decorative arts and crafts. 
So we're going to discuss it. The decorative arts and crafts that we are enjoying and using at present times were greatly influenced by the traditional arts and crafts all throughout the country. So ambal naton, there's no independent type of art that was that is only originally developed in a certain um, place lang din. Pero kung baga malakas, um, kung may na-develop man na original na art sa amunang a certain place, it was already been influenced. Okay? It was caused by the influence or the combination or mix up or mixture of any other type of arts nga nabatsyagan man sa artist ba? nga nakaubra si na sa art ni ina sa isa ka place. Alright? It might be contradicting to the idea of what contemporary art is as discussed in the previous lessons, but it is important to learn about these artworks because it inspired a lot of artworks and crafts that we enjoy today. So, class mag kita mga decorative arts. Um, and class yun, tani, uh, daw sila ni Bala class, kumbaga, ang, ang original form, gid, sang mga contemporary art forms nga gina-enjoy ta today. Okay? So, amun yung sila class, kung hindi na sila contemporary arts na class, nga, nga type of arts. Okay, it was developed way before pasang una pagid. Okay? Pero um, as time goes by, ka develop na sila, may mga um, na, in, na influence siya ang mga craft or arts na gakaubra natin today. That's why we have contemporary art forms. Okay? So here are some examples of contemporary decorative arts in the Philippines. So but atang pateria class, it's not a uh, developed just in the contemporary times. It was developed way before, ginagamit ito sa mga ninuno naton. Pero, ang ginaisulihan tadi, ang, ang, ano, ang contem kung paano nag-influence, gin-influence ang pottery, ang kinds of pottery that we have in the contemporary times today. Alright? So, pottery refers to the process of making pots or other wear by molding place or mod. It is one of the oldest and most prevalent decorative arts in the country. So, parang taman yung pottery class, it is not just only by design, pero ginagamit din siya class, right? So, example of it, ang mga function niya, it can be a water vessel, right? Water vessel class, kung for example, ang mga makita mo na sa mga, especially sa mga kaumahan, malakas, kita nyo na ang mga jug na, na daw made out of clay, di ba, miskin, ibutang mo lang ng tubig, and if it will go overnight, pagkaaga do medyo cold ng tubig. So, that's um that's the function of pottery. It's not only for design, but it has a purpose. Next, food containers, right? So, pwede mo sa masudlan sa mga pagkaon. Then, burial jars. Mga magkita burial jars or ang mga urn. Urn, malaklas, ang ginasudlan sa mga patay, ang abusang patay. Not entirely, ang bilog na patay, ha? Ang abusang patay. Next, what is bornai? This is a kind of a pottery. So, we are going to define bornai. Bornai, kasama sila yun sa isip nyo. Bornai. Okay? May kakaisip ka mo? Ano, wala kang may maisip. <laughs> Next, handmade high temperature pottery tradition of vegan Ilocosur. Okay? So, halin na sa Ilocosur class. Sa vegan, ang, ang, ang tradition of making bornai. It is used to store variety of things such as salt, baguong, water, wine, etc. So na, may kunuklas kung ginastore siya sa mga pottery, balaka sa mga pot, ang ato ng mga pagkaon because it really preserves the taste of it. Okay? Kung ano siya kanamit, um, kung hindi mo siya pag-ibutang sa pot, okay, kaglutuan mo siya da yun, kagong, kagong i-preserve mo siya using a burnay, ano mo nagyapa ng taste niya, or using a pottery, or using a pot. Okay? So, Burnai Pottery of Vegan Ilocosur, this one is an example. Next, what is what we what is studio pottery? Studio patter, potters intend to create pots that functions like ordinary pot but carries uniqueness and beauty in it. Most of them are one of a kind and are sought after by art collectors. So, this one class is really a decorative arts because it has a purpose but it is one to be designed. Okay? Nga ginagamit yun siya for decorations. Example na class, sino nakalantaw sa ano? Um, a movie bala ni Tony Labrusca? Okay? Kag ni Angel Aquino to last time. Ano to nga ni Meg? Okay? It was, di ba gaubra dito si ano? Gaubra siya sa mga pots. Kung mabalaan nyo lang dito. Kung mabalaan nyo dito, makita nyo ng movie nga na. Uh, Amo na class ang ginaubra niya. Ha? A glorious, okay? But ayong glorious? Ayok nga na lang, tawin yun ang glorious, okay? 
So, may ari ko di copy, pwede ko pakibakita sa inyo, kahit doon medyo um, sensual siya, okay? Advice lang siya sa mga, mga pwede maklanta, mga 18 years old above, okay? So, kamo doon mga 18 years old naman kamo up, okay? So, class, amo na, class ang studio pottery nga ginatawag, amo din doon ginaubra niya malang, ga, ga masamasa siya sa kumbaga sa mga clay and everything. She makes amo to ang babae, si Angel, go breast sa pot, and then ginadesign niya ang pot, Okay? Ginabaligya niya. And then, it was, um, ginasell niya. Kalo mga gaba kalman. Doon ang mga art collector git. Okay? So, hindi na siya yung basta-basta nang ginastore sa mga food and everything. But it can also be for decoration. Ugubigyan. Sino si Ugubigyan? He is a native of Chao, Chaong, Quezon. He owns a pottery studio in Quezon, which is known for the magnificent studio pottery art pieces that it offers. So, ang muna klasa example sa mga art kaya klasa Alright, so makita nyo na. Okay, so now let's move on to another type of um, of um, decorative art, which is carving. Alright, so carving. Um, of course, this is sculpture, mga Japan. Uh, Alright, so next, Filipino are known for their skills when it comes to carving. Carving involves the process of sub sub subtracting or shaping solid materials such as stone or wood to manipulate and create objects. Okay? So, ginaibanan mo. Plus, parang sa hambal ko, ginakarve mo siya kung isa ka solid object, ginaibanan mo sa something, sa iyang quantity, okay? Para ma-shape siya sa isa ka form. Example na, okir. Okay? So, this one is an okir. Okay? Bulol sa rimano. Okay? Another type of decorative art is what we call, ah, uh, Weaving. 